Welcome to the Piping Engineering YouTube channel. In today's video we will explore how to easily read pipe isometric drawings and the bill of materials process step by step. First of all, thank you to all our members and subscribers for your continued support. It really means a lot to us. If you want to help us continue creating educational content be sure to subscribe to the channel or grab one of our membership packages linked in the description below. All right. Let's dive into today's lesson. This is the pipe isometric drawing. This pipeline consists of one a spool only. Let's learn the materials which used in the pipeline. This is the list of materials for fabrication. Detail number one shows pipe. Was used in several places in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The item number 1, pipe, schedule is XXS, the material is stainless steel, the size is 2 inch, total length used 2 meters. Detail number 2, was used in 4 places, in the pipe drawing. Let's look at the material list. The item number 2, elbow 90 degree, long radius, schedule is XXS, the size is 2 inch, the material is stainless steel, the quantity is 4 pieces. Detail number 3, was used in 2 places also, in the pipe drawing. The item number 3, Galperti standard hub transition flange, the quantity is 2 pieces. Every pipe drawing has such a sketch, this indicates the directions. By studying these directions, we can easily read the any pipe isometrics. There are six directions here. N stands for North. S stands for South. E stands for East. W stands for West. Up stands for Up. Down, stands for down directions. Let's try to read this pipe isometric using these directions. We will start reading the piping isometric from this point because the direction of the arrow on the pipe drawing is in this direction. The pipeline travels start from this point to the upward. Then the pipeline travels to the north direction. Then the pipeline moves upwards. Then the pipeline travels to the north direction. In this point, pipeline travels to the east direction. So, the correct reading of the pipe drawing is completed. Let's look at the 3D model view of this pipeline. The 3D view of pipeline helps us understand pipeline isometry more easily. This educational video ends here. Feel free to share your thoughts about the video in the comments section. By joining our channel, you can support us and enjoy exclusive features. If you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to our channel. Special thanks to everyone who leaves a comment or a like. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.